Hey guys, Jill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where we teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. Last week, Adobe released a brand new feature that lets you color grade your footage with just one click of a button. Currently, it is only available within the beta version of Premiere Pro. So first, let's open up the Adobe Creative Cloud app and move to the beta apps menu. Then download the beta version of Premiere. After it's installed, open up the beta app and you'll notice that the import menu is already different. But that's something that we've talked about in a previous video, which you can see by clicking the link in the top right corner. Now I'm going to import some footage, which will be some log footage that we've shot and some stock clips from Storyblocks that already have a decent color grade. We're now going to color grade these clips to get some nice looking colors. To start color grading, move to the window menu and select the Lumetri color panel. If you have never color graded before, let me give you a quick introduction. Within the Lumetri panel, we have multiple tabs. The first one is the basic correction tab. From here, we can make, as the name indicates, basic adjustments to our contrast and exposure, but also the temperature of your shot. Next is the creative tab. From here, you can add LUTs, which you can technically also do in the basic correction tab, but if you apply it here, you can still adjust stuff later on in the basic corrections. In the creative tab, you can also add sharpness, vibrance and saturation. Next up is the curves tab. From here, you can use the curves to control exposure and colors, but in a more advanced way. You can also play around with the hue, saturation and luma controls to control specific colors on your shots. Next is the color wheels and match tab. And here you can add specific colors to either the shadows, midtones, or highlights. Next is the HSL secondary tab, which you can use to make selections of specific colors, which is an ideal way to create better skin tones, for example. And lastly, we have the vignette tab, which is basically to create a vignette, obviously. But you have clicked on this video to see the brand new one click color grade feature in Premiere. So let's not wait any longer. When you go back to the basic corrections tab, you will see a new button which says Auto Tone. Now if you click this, Premiere will apply intelligent auto corrections to your footage. And this is all done with the sliders of the basic corrections tab. Which means that afterwards, you can still have full control over it and change anything if needed. So why is this so useful? Well, for beginner video editors, this is a fast and easy way to apply a quick and nice looking color grade to your footage as a start. You can then use, for example, the color wheels and match tab to auto color match your footage to other shots, like we've explained in a previous tutorial as well. And after that, you can continue color grading your footage to get a more specific look. But before I continue and show you some of the results that we got with this new feature, let me quickly tell you about our color grading course, which is an in-depth color grading and color correction course, all with the use of the Lumetri panel in Premiere Pro. Now once started, you will first get an introduction and get familiar with the waveform tool, which is a Lumetri scope. Then we'll teach you about RGB curves, white balance and tint, how to use the color wheels, how to apply LUTs and create different kind of looks, the difference between saturation and vibrance, but also the difference between color correction and color grading. You'll also learn the philosophy behind color grading, how to animate colors and tones, how to work with all the different curves, and of course, super important, we'll teach you how to color correct bad footage, how to apply masks, and how to track them, and so much more. Now, if you want to check out that course and learn everything there is to know about color grading, then check out the first link in the description down below. The first 30 days of your subscription are completely for free, so be fast and join right away. Anyway, let's move on and show you some of the results that we got with using the new Autotone feature on different type of shots. Enjoy! to admit I was a bit skeptical about this new feature, but the results actually look pretty damn great. So I can't wait for Adobe to release this officially for everyone to use it. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new, and if so, make sure to hit the like button, turn on post notifications, and of course, subscribe to the channel. And feel free to share this video with your friends or on your socials. I'll see you again next week with a new tutorial, and as always, stay creative.